Hello and welcome to another episode of TRB Collectibles. My name's Tom and I will be your guide through this estate sale. The most important rule at any estate sale is safety first, and this gentleman demonstrates it perfectly. Not only does he have his helmet on, but he also has his high visibility safety vest, so everyone can see him at the sale. What are these? Oh, this is vintage. How much did they rent for this guy? Ten dollars. So I came across these late 80s, early 90s toy cars yeah. that little Sesame Street characters would sit in and you could, you know, push around. I remember playing with these as a kid and I was hoping that they would have some type of value since I had the majority of them. Even in a lot, they weren't worth it, but it was still cool to see. Now I haven't sold plateware in quite some times, but you can make decent money off of it. Not everything is worth it, so you do have to look it up. And what I'm referring to are plates, cups, bowls, plate sets, you name it. Not everything does well, but if you happen to sell it, what do you look for? Please, let me know in the comments below. Here's another set of cars in a bag, but instead of Sesame Street characters, there were Looney Tunes. I did happen to look them up, and it turns out it was the same thing as the Sesame Street characters. It was great to see, but it didn't carry a value, even as a lot. You should look some of this stuff up. Like that one. Now the reason I had Chris look these up, these are not just normal books. These are art history books. People are using these for educational materials. Even though they might be in a different language, you can still look them up and see if they have a value on eBay. If you can't find a comp for them, always try to use Google Lens to see what you can find outside of eBay to try to give it a value. And if you can get it for the right price, definitely take it, sit on it, and more than likely, you'll sell it. I'm starting to notice a trend. I'm finding small characters in bags throughout every room of this home, yet none of them carry a value. I still like seeing them though. Now the next time you're at an estate sale and you see that doll bank and more than likely you're like, oh, that's a plastic trinket that nobody will want, take the time, stop, and look it up. Remember, you have a lot of different markets that potentially could look at that. People that collect small piggy banks or banks in general. People that collect the doll company's merchandise, anything that they release. If you think about it, they don't really release a lot of merchandise, more so food product. And or number three, people that like to collect pineapple-shaped items, including that bank. 
So you do have a wide variety and a wide market that you could potentially sell this to. Always check the comps because you just never know. Ah, uh, media, my favorite category. Yes, DVDs still sell. I did take the time to look through all the DVDs and actually none of them carried a resale value for eBay. The price point at the estate sale was actually pretty decent. So if you're just coming to watch a movie or two and pick one of these up, it was a great price nonetheless. I walked away with none of these DVDs though. Do you remember when families used to coat their Christmas tree in very breakable ornaments? Well, every year those families are tuning into eBay because they potentially break one or two on accident or their pet breaks one or two on accident. A lot of those ornaments have family memories attached to them and they just can't find a replacement in the stores anymore. They're so vintage. So the only place that they turn is eBay to find that make or model or that brand that's no longer in production. And they're willing to pay that price to make sure that they can replace that ornament that brought them so many wonderful memories over the years. Don't pass up looking up Christmas ornaments. You never know, you might need one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to click that like button. And if you have some spare time, check out some of these other videos. Thanks!